do uh, have a sense of, I mean, like, why not even in Israel? It, it doesn't seem that there's memory of this alphabet hasn't been transmitted, but of course, people write in Hebrew all the time, in Hebrew script in, uh, in Israel and even in other places, but it doesn't seem to have survived very well past the 1920s and certainly not after the Second World War, which decimated many of the Judeo-Spanish-speaking communities, including Salonika, or it didn't make it very far into the state of Israel. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, this brings us back to the, re the written reality of the Jews, of the development of Hebrew from uh, ancient times on. Um, there are two principles in, in language, as in many other things. One is economy. Uh, we want to be able to speak and write making as th the least effort possible. But on the other hand, we want to make sure the people who we're speaking with or who we're writing to understand what we're, what we're uh, saying or writing. Um, and one of the uh, repercussions of this in, the, in terms of the writing of Hebrew is that from the early period on, people have been modifying the Hebrew alphabet in order to write it um, as quickly and as uh, effortlessly as possible. Uh, but, of course, the Jewish communities were, were um, dispersed throughout the world, and in each community, actually, there was a, a, a large measure of independent development, so that uh, Jews in France, in Italy, uh, and in Germany developed a certain uh, style of writing Hebrew, whereas Jews in Spain and also parts of the East uh, developed a different style. One of the harbingers of uh, Zionism uh, Rabbi Yehuda Al-Kalai of Sarajevo actually suggested when he began to think about the use of Hebrew as the language of all Jews settling in Israel that not only would the Sephardic pronunciation of Hebrew be used as it more or less is today but he also recommended that Solitreo be used to write Hebrew in Israel by all Jews but as it worked out there was a kind of compromise reached so that the pronunciation of Hebrew today in Israel is Sephardic, basically, but the writing system, the, 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 the uh, cursive script used, is that which developed among Ashkenazim, first in France and Italy and Germany, and later in Eastern Europe. So that, that's basically the alphabet that's used. And children uh, tend to learn just one alphabet, one way of writing the Hebrew alphabet. In Israel, that style is the Ashkenazic style. And this means that very few, uh, if they don't make a special effort, uh, have been exposed to and learned the Solitreo. Hmm. So one of our tasks is to teach students today, if they're interested in Sephardic Jewry and Ottoman Jewry, how to, uh, how to read this alphabet.